In the last video, we took a look at creating the, the page that showed you everything, the grid view. And then you click from the grid view uh, onto to see the details. It would open up the state's details page and give you a little bit more where you could edit, you could delete, and you can add a new. That's kind of a cumbersome way to have to add a new record is to go see an existing record over time. So then we also created the new state record or the new state um, page. Now we've got these three pages. Things are still kind of clumsy. Uh, they're not uh, when we add and when we delete, things are kind of hanging there, sitting there, not moving. Uh, and then linking has become a problem, uh, getting opening the pages. So let's uh, create a new web page, add new item. Visual Basic web form, place the code in a separate file, and let's just call it default. It's fine. And here on the default page, uh, this is just going to be our opening page. So, uh, welcome to the database. Uh, and then a couple of hyperlinks, maybe. So from this main page, I want to be able to view all of the pages. And I want to be able to add a new page or add a new record. Uh, and I would also like to put a map, just a simple image on the front. So let me save this page. Uh, and then we will go add the map. So I'm in the folder now that I'm working in. And I just want to create a new folder. Uh, and I'll just call it images. And I want to move map into that images. So notice the work I'm doing here is outside of Visual Web Developer. So when I look at it in Visual Web Developer, I don't see the new folder nor the, the map I just dropped in. So if I right click and refresh the folder, there they are. All right, so down here, let me go ahead and add that. Um, my Alt. Well, I'll just type it in manually. Uh, from here, it's in the images folder, and it's named map.png. And close this up. Uh, notice this uh, little bit right here is not on these URLs. Uh, you can have it. You don't have to have it. They should function either way. Uh, that just means from here. Dot slash is from here open up new state and new states in the same folder uh, from here go into the images folder view the map uh, png or open up map png okay so let's save this so let's view this default page now and see how things look looks good we can view all the pages And we can add a new state. So that's doing what we expect it to do. So now we need to add more details, uh, more links to these other state, uh, these other pages. So let's open up the view all states page. And from the view all states, we want to be able to go home. And we also want to be able to add a new page. 
new state. from the state details page we want to be able to go home add a new state and view all states that's set and then from the new state page uh, we probably want to be able to view all the states and go home so let's save this up and see how things look uh, in the on the website now so if we go to default and we'll just F5 to refresh make sure we've got the latest so view all pages that should be view all states uh, we get in here from here we can click into a link we can go back we can add a new state excellent uh, from here we can add a new state go home okay, I need to clean up that okay everything looks like it's working correctly now So my links are working. I'm able to move around. Excellent. So now what I would like to happen uh, is to add some code behind to make things a little more fluid. So if I go in to view the details of a state, when I edit a state, it just kind of hangs here. And then I can use my links to go where I need to go. I would like that maybe after the edit is complete, to redirect me back to the grid view. So to do that, I'm going to open up the state details page, the code behind, and the details page. If I am looking at the state details page in design view, when I click the details view uh, object, I can see its name is details view one. You can also see that in the source code. So in the code behind, if I get in here, get in the middle of this class, uh, on the left hand side I can pick the object. I'm going to pick that details view one object and I'm going to pick item updated. Notice I have updated and updating. So updating is what's occur what happens when it's in the process of doing it. Updated is after it's finished. So I want after it's finished, updated. And it creates this little subroutine for me. And I'll open this up. So after the sub uh, after the subroutine item updated fires, I want it to redirect me to the grid view. Now when I go in and I edit an item, it takes me back to the grid view. When I delete an item, it just kind of hangs out here. I want it to do something. I want to acknowledge that the deletion has occurred. So I'm still on that state details page. I'm going to create another event uh, to fire. So details view when the item is deleted. So after the deleting is done. Deleting is in process, deleted is done. I would like to tell the user that the record has been deleted from the database. Now, when I start out at home, Okay, I'm going to view all the states. I'm going to get into the details of a state. When I edit, it redirects me. When I delete it, 
it gives me a message and then after that message I can click where I would like to go. The other page that needs uh, some code behind is adding a new state. So if we added a new state, on insert it, it puts the record in but it just sits here. So I would like to have some acknowledgement that, that that has occurred. So I will go to new state, the code behind, and again it's called, the, the ASP control is called details view one because I didn't change the name. Uh, this is going to be item inserted. So after the insertion is complete, okay, and I get this little subroutine here, and I'm going to send them back to the grid view. So now, let me refresh. When I view all states, I can get in here. When I edit, redirects me. I can delete. It gives me a notification that it's been deleted. And when I add a new state, it redirects me. And now I can see that it's been added. So we've added just a little functionality to make things a little smoother for the users uh, and make it a little more user friendly.